What's up, Champlain? Episode number three. I'm gonna talk to you about one of my favorite ways to practice sustainability, and that is by purchasing local produce. What's so great about local produce, you might ask? A few things. Reason number one, you're supporting people in your community. That farmer could be your neighbor. Reason number two, if you want, you can probably go see the farm. That's right, take a look around. Make sure that uh, Mr. or Mrs. Farmer is doing everything cool, not dumping gross chemicals all over your produce. Reason number three, cuts down on carbon emissions because you're not buying a pepper that was trucked across the country from California or something. Reason number four, uh, supporting smaller businesses means that the people who are actually doing all the hard work get a bigger cut of the dough and you're not supporting some fat cat banker on Wall Street. A few years ago, I was in my hometown, Greensboro, Vermont, picking up some produce at the farm stand. Uh, the farmer comes up to me, he's this guy I went to elementary school with his kids, so we knew each other. And he says to me, Ryan, you know, for years I was busting my back, carting around loads of potatoes. Then I saw those other guys, their little bags of mescaline greens, you know, uh, arugula, baby spinach, all different types of lettuce. Sell, sells for like three times as much or something, a tenth of the weight. It was a no-brainer. He was able to greatly increase his ability to support himself because people had become more interested in purchasing uh, good quality local produce. So maybe you see where this is going. Marijuana is a crop that local farmers would love to be able to grow legally, all right? It would be a win-win, a win-win-win, all right? You get the farmers, they get another great cash crop to grow, uh, premium, you know, lightweight, uh, high high revenue. For the consumers, uh, they get they get to go and buy from someone who's right in their community growing it. All right, they can look at the the farm itself, uh, make sure that there aren't nasty chemicals being sprayed all over the product. Uh, the community benefits. All right, once this is legalized and the sale can be taxed, of course, uh, and those tax revenues can go into things like schools and healthcare and roads, all that good stuff. Uh, and it keeps the dollars local. You know, your your neighbor gets the money instead of some drug kingpin uh, running a cartel in Mexico whose minions are murdering people left and right. We don't want that. It's time to get the government off of farmers' backs and allow them access to the awesome cash crop potential of U.S. grown marijuana. Get on Twitter, get on Instagram, talk about it. Hashtag Hemplane. www.rottenunster.com slash Hemplane. You know what's up. See you later.